low, bright, shiny ones, it is Lisa Lyle here of Wisdom of the Heart Intuitive Healing on Facebook, and my website is www.lisalyle.com. I think I should take my glasses off for this. <laughs> so we are here, the date is Monday, April the 13th, and I'm here with a bit of an intuitive energy update and a little bit of guidance for us as we move through this week, approaching our new moon First of all, take a big breath, let out a big sigh, and know that in this moment everything is perfectly fine and everything is working out for the greatest and highest good of your divine essence here on Mother Earth. So we've all been incredibly uh, energized by our most recent eclipse season and in fact it, it packed quite a punch spiritual punch for many of us, if you will. And the the past couple of weeks, sorry, I was just making sure that it was that we were recording here. The past couple of weeks, uh, anything in our lives that was not of integrity, anything that was not in alignment with our divine essence has been brought to the forefront, was in fact brought to the forefront. And so for many of us, and regardless of where we are on our path of ascension, for everybody we were affected in a deep and profound way. And for many, the call of the soul has sung out and we are asked to do everything in a completely different way. And this has been challenging, it has been frightening for some, being vulnerable and operating entirely from our heart space is an incredibly courageous thing to do. And I trust what most of you have found is that your purpose here, what you came here for was happiness, peace, love, and abundant blessings. Where And, and the ability to live a life where all of your financial needs are met. And not just your financial needs, your spiritual, physical, and emotional needs. So this is the space we're in right now as of April and in fact as we begin to really strongly integrate the energies of this most recent eclipse season and as we come towards the new moon in Aries on Saturday this is a time of integration and this is a time where all of us are finding um, our balance and it's really through our ability to each create boundaries that support us in moving into peaceful balance and the abundance that is our divine birthright. All indications are saying there's no need to push against the flow at this time. Any pushing, any resistance kind of has a counter effect. So many people are trying to be more spiritual. Many people are trying to get their spiritually centered career off the ground. Many people are trying whatever it is that each is, that is important for each to do. Everybody's trying, and I would suggest simply try being you. <laughs> try being you right here and now, and try loving and accepting every beautiful aspect of you. And there's a, been a great balancing of the polarities, right? Um, angry, happy, peaceful you know we there's been all this balancing and it's been taking place from within and we are greatly supported through our connection to the earth so as you can see I'm once again thrilled to be back outside recording and it's been rather gray and rainy here for the last week or so and I felt that that was also how many people were feeling kind of disillusioned disenchanted um, as opposed to simply just settling into the new because we've released so much. We are indeed the new humans walking upon Mother Earth and we don't have to concern and, and um, concern ourselves with what other people are doing. We need only be concerned with what it is that we're here doing and what we bring to the table of our life each and every day. And quite honestly, if you pause for a moment and look around, you'll see that there's an abundant feast um, that abounds all around you. So dig in. 
and settle into the flow. I'm being asked to just pull a couple of cards. We'll see. Um, I only brought one deck with me down here to the beach. And this is the Magdalene deck. And this is the Revelation card. So we've all been resurrected through the um, new revelations. And more and more stuff is coming. So many of you are likely feeling a lot of intense energy in and around your head and through um, your And so for those of us that are feeling it up here in the head, there's this expansive opening happening through the third eye and crown chakra right now. And we balance this energy through our sacral and root chakras, and as well as our solar plexus, really moving into our power. What we're being asked to balance is our creative flow. And we need to anchor this in knowing that many of us are here as artists, as mystics, as way showers, as healers, as teachers, as guides, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Just step into your role and the transition will be smooth and more and more is being revealed. And so again, this card, I see the purple above the um, golden light here and it's the third eye. It's our psychic gifts that we're asked to anchor down into uh, Mother Earth and then shine, allow our power to shine forth. So know that as you move through this week, there are going to be expansive openings and you may have um, pearls of wisdom that are revealed to you that were formerly unknown. And then you're going to be asked to make some decisions based on the truth that you know. And again, we've got this beautiful moon here. So we're so uh, ruled by the cycles of the moon. And if we could only understand this, not only are the waters affected, we as humans are affected by this as well because we are essentially made up of water. And so once, you, once the revelations come through to you, it's going to be up to you to make decisions based on what feels right and true for you. Is it going to be the same old, same old? Or are you going to probably step into your truth and get busy doing the work that you come here to do? And a part of that work, I love this because this uh, just showed up earlier today as well, ascension. A part of the work that you've come here to do is ascend. Ascend through the purity of your divine heart and your truth that resides within this space. Um, the white energy is this playful, pure, childlike, inner child energy. And so for many, we're being asked to come out of the closet, come out of the sha shadows, and really allow your unique expression to shine um, upon Mother Earth. Allow it to shine in your life so that you can fulfill all that you've come here to do, so that you can begin to see your dreams manifest in your physical reality. It's time to be happy. And it's time to be happy, and it's time to be playful, and it's time to allow your childlike sense of wonder to lead the way. And as we ascend, the most important thing that we can continue to do is anchor in, anchor in our divine heart connection with Mother Earth, and know that as we do, not only do we support ourselves in being more and more true blue to us, we support the collective as well. And this is very noble work. And I am just sending you great big waves of love, light, respect, and gratitude, wishes for peace, and the most abundant of your divine blessings. May you receive those here now. If you would like to be a part of the New Moon in Aries, the link is down below. Please visit the Facebook page and join. And also have a look. There are multiple uh, offers for um, there's offers for multiple circles. I'm also being guided. I had a special over the past weekend, um, a soul song special, and that was soul messages for $55. And I'm being asked to carry them through this week, so that is available as well. And if you would like to receive your very own soul song messages, please visit my website. The link is down below. Click on donate and send in $55 and I will get those messages to you this week. I look forward to being of service to you. I trust that these messages resonate and support you through this coming week. Please do hit the thumbs up button down below 
and like and share this video on Facebook. I appreciate your interaction and your interaction supports me in great ways. So please continue.